let's just do the poem. Morning has come, night is away. Rise with the sun and welcome the day. Good. Okay, so today is Thursday, January 25th, 2024. We're in 2024, is that crazy? Yes. No, no, we're not. 2024. Well, that's just the date. So, because Thursday is the? Thursday is the? Day. Day. January is the? Month. The 25th is the? Date. Date. And 2024 is the? Month. Year. Yeah. Let's see that. Mommy, you were in 2024. Well, that was the 24th of January. But we're in 2024, the year. So we're going to be saying that all year long. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. Yes, sweetheart. I really want you to do Ready? So remember, we're recording this, my sweetheart. Can you turn towards mommy? No. Okay, we are going to do our days of the week. Everybody stand on up. We're going to stomp them out. I think we have some stompies we have to get out today. Ready? We'll do days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Good. Oh. All right. So if today is Thursday, today's grocery day, yesterday was... Wednesday. Wednesday, Wait. Thursday, tomorrow is Mommy, we said no, we're Friday. On, no, we're on this month. But oh, we were it's getting it's early funny day because day. you can early fry day. stuff on Friday. Day. Friday is then wrong. We have, we, then we have to do that and then we just have to do that. Mom, um, is that is that um Holly? You know what, Bert? That's a really good observation. The 31st of October is Halloween. What? But the 31st of January is not. So what? Of, we have like 10 months. Wait, you just said Halloween. what? Why did you? She said, is this Halloween? So that was a really good observation. You usually put a pumpkin for Halloween. All right, sweetheart, can you sit down? Thank you. And what month are we in? Boy. Ready? I'm gonna say we're gonna do our month. I'm going to point to you, and you're gonna say them the next month. So I'll start. January. February. March. And April. February. This is after February. March. <laughs> April. Yes. July. August. October. November. November. Everybody together. December. December. Good job, guys. So we're in January, which means it's the very first month of the year. How exciting is that? Let's Look. do our January poem. Look. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to read a line, and then you guys repeat it. Ready? Tick tock, says the clock. Tick tock, says the clock. It's 12 of the night. It's 12 of the night. The new year's here. And the stars are bright. And the stars are bright. The old year's gone. The old year's gone. He's tired and worn. He's tired and worn. Christmas is past. Christmas is past. The tree all shorn. The tree all shorn. Let's see. I want to hear as loud as we can. The star children the come. Top. The star children come. In the dead of the night. In the dead of the night. Like three wise men. Like three wise men. Bringing the light. Bringing the light. Tick tock, says the clock. Tick tock, says the clock. The new year's come. The new year's come. Good year to you all. Good year to you all. Until the next two come. Until the next two come. Good. All right, sweet boy, you come on up here because now it's time to change our weather. Take a look outside. What do we have as the weather today? Oof. 
What's it look like? Some oh. snowballs. It is actually a little warmer today for a January day. We had all that snow on the ground and now it's all, what do we think about the weather over here? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's in like the almost cool to warm. It is. Cloudy, yeah, for sure. And what season are we in? Oh, rain. Right. Yeah, you wanna tell me? Winter. Winter. Go look outside. Even though it's a warm day outside today, how can we tell it's winter? Um, because, because there's no snow, but there is cold, and snow is cold. Well, but yeah, we still have a little bit of snow left on the ground. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Still melting. The trees are asleep. The, the trees do look like they're asleep. You're right. They're dormant right now. <laughs> they're all bare. Are there any leaves on the trees? Yeah, they're bears. They're bears. <laughs> the trees there, are bears. There's no leaves on the trees. No leaves on the trees, right? How about all the plants on the ground? What do they look like? Uh, I don't they um, look like they're dying. Oh. Yeah, they almost look like they're dying. Some of them are out. Wait, why is, there, is there, why is there sweet potato? The iris are dead? They're coming back. No, there's, no, there's, the irises are dead? Nope, the irises Mommy, are out. Mommy, I'm just right. Why is it happening? I don't know, sweetheart. Yeah. It just looks like it. We'll look at that later. Ready? A winter Eden. Eden. You guys are going to say it with me, okay? So this is one we'll say together. So this is our winter poem, A Winter Eden by Robert Frost. A winter Eden by Robert Frost. We've been saying this one for years, right? So I think, let's see if you can say it with me at the same time, okay? Wait, why is your head down, Rocky? Ready? One, two, three. three. A winter garden in an outer swamp where conies now come out to sun and rock as near a paradise as it can be and not melt snow or start a dormant tree. It lifts existence on a plane of snow, one level higher than the earth below, one level nearer heaven overhead, and last year's berries. Shining squirrel. Yes. It lifts a gaunt, luxuriating beast where he can stretch and hold his eyes yeah, on some wild apple trees, young. Yeah, but well may prove the year's high girdle mark. So near to paradise, all pairing ends. Here, loveless birds now flock as yeah, content with bud inspecting. They presume to say which buds are. Here you go, your favorite part a feather. This Eden day is done at 2 o'clock. An hour of winter day might seem too short to make it worth life's while to wake and sport. Okay. All right, love bugs, let's put all of our things over to the side so we can do our circle. Well, let's see if Optimus Prime and the turtle can watch us. You can even put them right here if you want. That you want them to hold hands? Well, pick one to hold hands. And Evie, let's put our book over to the side too, sweetheart, okay? Okay, yeah, I'm And then let's take our little seats and move those over to the side. Wait, Mommy. Yes, sweetheart. I have an idea. Each person holds a hand with each person. Well, okay. Evie's going to have her, um, turtle, her turtle out. So I'm going to put these off to the side so they can watch. Hey, okay? that's not nice. Yeah, of course. Yeah, All right, let's all hold hands. Perfect, sweetheart. Wait, wait. Gonna put your sweatshirt down so that we have enough hands. Just throw it over there. There we go. Oh my goodness, look at all of these. Oh, I get to hold both of them. Ready? Come and join in my we ring. In my we ring. Hey, you have to move. In my we ring. Come and join in my we ring. And make it a little bit big. Well, look how big it can get today. Won't you come and laugh and sing in my we ring? In my wee ring. We'll have so much fun together. Okay, everybody, hold your your friends, and let's see if your friends can touch the ground. You think your friends can touch the ground? Yeah. Ooh, touch the ground. Ready? Say hello, Mother Earth. Hello, 
Thank you for giving us some place to put our feet. I reach up to the sky. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, sun. Hello, clouds. Ready? And then deep down again. Oh, stretch. Feel all your bones. And then, let's see if you can be a tree. Can you grow, 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 grow your tree really high? Ooh, be as big as a tree. What kind of a tree are you, sweetheart? A apple tree. Oh, an apple tree. I'm going to be an oak. An oak. Oh, let's see how high. I'm going to be a maple. How high we can reach. Good job. Okay, so we are going to do He's doing a push the winter time. Oh, that's perfect. Wait, this is, so this is the one we have to act out. You guys ready? This is the grass. That's the grass right there. I'm on my head. Okay. Ready? Let's let's stand in a circle. We don't, we don't have to hold hands, but we're going to stand in a circle. Wait, let's hold our hands and then drop in a them. perfect circle. That's a good idea. And then, my sweetheart, can you just move over that way a little bit? So this way, your back's just to the camera. There we go. Ready? Ready? And then drop your hands. Good. Oh, hear the winds call. Ready, snap. Listen to the nuts fall. Can you guys listen to the nuts fall? See the squirrel gather its food. To bed goes the bear. All creatures prepare hands up for this winter time food. The snow falls soft at night. Ready, come on down. Covering the ground in winter white. While all are snug in bed. Ready? But with the sunrise, the children open their eyes to play in the snow instead. One last one. Ready? The air is so clear. Wrapped in warm winter gear. Get yourself ready in warm winter gear. Good job. Out to the snow we go. Jack Frost bites the nose and freezes the toes. All, what is it, sorry, now starts this winter time show. Good job. Okay, come on, let's do our cobbler. Come and stand on over here. Yep. There once was a cobbler and he was wee. He lived in the hole of a very big tree. He had a good neighbor, and she was a mouse. She did his wee washing and tidied his house. Each morning at seven, he'd hear a wee tap. Miss Mousy come in in her apron and cap. She lit a wee fire and fetched a wee broom, and she slept and she polished his wee little room. To take any wages, she'd always refuse. So the cobbler said, thank you, and mended her shoes. Good job, love bugs. Why did she mend her shoes? And what did mend mean? What do you think mend means? Um, um, so a cobbler is somebody who mends shoes. So what do you think he does with shoes? Um. Cool. um Put up to another neighbor. The soak waves. He fixes them. To mend means to fix. That's a really good question. The All right, you ready? soak waves big in there. <laughs> and it looks like you're doing some yoga stretches right there. Sarah, what is Okay, you ready? It's something that's from chocolate. Okay, you guys ready to do shivering, quivering? Shivering, quivering, freezing cold. Rub your hands and then your arms hold firm. Shivering, quivering, frosty as ice. Rub your feet hard at least once or twice. Firm. Shivering, quivering, blow out your air. Take a deep breath and let it out there. Burr. Good. And then we're gonna do. We only have two more left. Five little snowmen. Ready? Five little snowmen stand up tall. Their bodies are round. Their heads are snowballs. Five little snowmen would walk if they could. 
to the shade of a tree or the shelter of woods. Ready? For five little snowmen. It's okay, I can see. For five little snowmen know when father sons are around. They won't last long because they'll melt on the ground. Good. Okay, we can stay right down here if you want. Let me see your sledding hill. On this hill, the snow you see. Here's my sled and here is me. Ready? Whoa, down I go. So fast, so fast, yippee! Okay, are you ready, love bugs? We can finish it up right now, ready? In every seed that will be a tree, there lives an image of all it can be. When I find the image of all I can be, then I will be free. Thank you, my love bugs. Thank you for all your help with circle time today, love.